Improvements this year in oil and gas drilling activity should carry over into 2011, the Canadian Association of Oil Well Drilling Contractors said on Tuesday. The first three quarters of 2010 saw a 60% improvement over 2009, but were still 14% below the same month of 2008 and significantly under the 2006 mark. There were 83,359 operating days for this period this year, up from 51,993 in 2009. Moving on, the U.S. Geological Survey said on Tuesday that Alaska holds less oil and natural gas onshore at the National Petroleum Reserve and in the nearby state waters than previously thought. The agency now estimates that the area on and near land in Alaska's north slope owned by the U.S. government holds 896 million barrels of conventional undiscovered oil, about 10% of the amount the agency predicted was there in 2002. The USGS also updated its estimate for natural gas in the area to 53 trillion cubic feet, about 13% less than the agency predicted eight years ago. Russia's largest oil producer, Rosneft, said on Tuesday that the company may participate in the oil and gas refining projects in Ecuador. The firm's head, Edward Kudanatov, discussed Rosneft's participation in Ecuador's oil and gas sector with George Glass, the South American's country minister of strategic resources and its ambassador to Russia. Oil and gas company BP has announced that it has reached an agreement to sell its recently acquired interest in four mature producing deepwater oil and gas fields in the U.S. Gulf of Mexico to Japanese company Marubeni Oil and Gas for 650 million U.S. dollars. BP acquired the interests of the fields of Magnolia, Merganza, Nansen and Zia from oil and gas exploration company Devon Energy earlier in 2010 as part of a wider acquisition of assets in the Gulf of Mexico, Brazil and Azerbaijan. That's all the news making waves in the oil and gas sector. We will be back soon with some more. See you then.